So hello and welcome. Today we are going to have a quick discussion about cloud flows and the desktop flows. So uh, you see here in the Power Automate Center there is an option called cloud flows and there is one called desktop flows. So when to use what? Right, that would be the question I'll try to answer. And uh, the main difference, the main goal basically here is that cloud flows are used mainly for modern applications which have uh, some exposure through API. So it means if you can connect uh, to your application using backend APIs and make API calls, then cloud flow would be the preferred choice. And if you have some legacy things which allow only to use uh, desktop uh, interaction, so you know you actually have to to click uh, and there is no other way to connect to this um, application then of course you would use the desktop flows so that's as simple as that right uh, cloud flow would be your choice of preference and if it's not possible to achieve something with a cloud flow then go for a desktop flow and uh, of course you can call the desktop top flow from the cloud flow and so these things they can be uh, integrated uh, you have to do some additional configuration with on-premises data gateway for that uh, I'll try to show it in a later video but uh, you know for now just keep it keep in mind that um, the main goal for desktop flows is, is for legacy applications just as a quick example, you see here I have this uh, RPA playbook for SAP GUI automation. And right, if we look at the playbook, you see it has the API flow and the UI flow together. Because the interaction with SAP system, um, you know, it cannot be handled through APIs, at least with some legacy things. Maybe we, we, in the modern SAP world is possible but you know here they run this ui flow and if we look at the example in general right so uh, here there are options when we uh, create uh, some actions right and then the uh, api flows then ui flow that right, is done with power automate desktop and then the final is message is sent through Outlook based on, on some uh, actions, on previous actions, right? So that would be a good uh, use case, you know, if you have SAP system where you have to use RPA, uh, then uh, of course UI flows would be your preference. I hope it's been helpful to you uh, and um, stay healthy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.